Well, ladies and gentlemen, today was painting day. So as far as that aft cabin, um, I got it about halfway done and then we decided we got kind of hungry. Uh, we also got rained out a little bit, so I couldn't leave it open and airing out as much as I wanted to. So, uh, we had to take a break anyway, but stay tuned all the way to the end. Please like subscribe, make sure you get your notification. Oh, <sighs> So, uh, I am not going to try and look pretty for the camera. It's too hot to care. Um, <laughs> so, we are working on the starboard side to try and get that cleared out. Eric's going to try and get as much off the trailer today as possible. Just so that we can try and get that broke down. We did get our first load out to the dump. Um, which, it was pretty decently priced actually considering. So, that wasn't bad. Um, we did, <laughs> we did get an AC unit this pretty thing here so at least now ooh, it's got that hose it goes all the way up out the window we got it blocked in everybody see that okay well, at least in part it is keeping it tolerable as long as I close the door which has a giant hole in it We'll get that fixed too. So that it's only cooling just the main salon and whatever in the Alma, because not, on the, not the Alma itself, but for this uh, extra bed placement area, it's actually kind of thin walled. So with the plexiglass there, you can't open it. It ends up just amplifying the heat coming in. So I've got to get this all cleaned out so that I can put a cover back there to help it reflect some of the heat. The good thing is, um, the hottest part in February is almost over. Their hardest, hottest part of the season is usually in September. So we picked an awesome time to come down and start trying to get all this done. Um, for the most part, everything's gonna be done up top with the pressure washer today. And we're trying to get it a lot nicer to walk around barefoot and getting all the bird poop off of it again. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. I'm gonna throw some hyperlapse on there because it's actually really boring watching anybody clean.
I love watching a man clean. The bird poop was bad enough. My light working? Good. Okay. Until I came back inside and decided to get to the lower cabinets. That's disgusting because you can see where the water line was at one point. I just cleaned this one out. Those weren't too bad. I mean, there's actually been a few cans you could almost think that you might use. It's dry good, it's sealed. Not hardly any rust on them. Sorry, vlogging camera. Until you come over here. Yuck. I don't think I am going to keep any of that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's pretty gross. Oh, it touched me. Ew. See them blowing up? Where one of these things is gonna explode on me. They're pretty nasty. Oh, yucky. I don't know how I found like 10 cans that were even remotely normal looking. And this side is so much worse. I know this bag's probably going to be too heavy now. Tripping oh, everywhere. I don't even know if I can get some of these out without them just pouring the contents everywhere. I think out of the entire boat, so far, and we have looked in every other cabinet and storage and anywhere we could look, and this was the last one to go, this is definitely by far the worst. <laughs> yep, I want that one. Bunch of beans. They're so, they're so rusty and stuck to each other. You, yeah, you break one open, trying to get them apart. Oh, this is horrible. I'm trying to be gentle with them when they're not really cooperating. Yeah. Yep, that one just broke, see? bottom came off of the beans. Come on, it's not breaking. So, two. The idea is to get as much of this out as possible. Oh, now it's sick. All right, I think that one's done. Yuck. Let me look. 
close that one up good because it is nasty. I knock over the fan right away okay guys so now that I've knocked over the fan um, today's project is going to consist of the captain's quarters uh, ie main cabin ie our soon-to-be bedroom because we need to upgrade and this is the queen size so first things first we have to strip everything out tiny little hallway in here. So, we drained all the water that was uh, remaining because of the carpet that was on the floor, so the carpet is gone, thank God. And then, I did the first bleach treatment, you can see all the little runny spots, just so that it gives it the first layer, which kills the majority of the mold, so it's safer for us to breathe while we're down here. Same thing with any spots where the wood may have still been um, wet. But the problem with this room is it's got all this carpet in here. So we're gonna strip all that out and give it a coat of white for the time being, which will also help us to locate because this is not a good idea for any of you out there. Um, I don't know if it's gonna pick it up on the camera. <clears throat> There it goes. So that is a finish nail. And you don't really want the finish nails or nails of any kind going through the fiberglass. But there were, so it leaks. So this is why we're taking carpet out and because carpet's gross. So <laughs> that being said, let's do a little more hyperlapse today. <laughs> <laughs> 